Have you ever encountered a woman who seems to march to the beat of her own drum? Someone who exudes confidence, doesn't care about social norms, and seems completely unfazed by what others think of her? Well, my friends, you might have just crossed paths with a Sigma female. And let me tell you, crossing one is something you'll want to avoid at all costs. Today, we're diving deep into why you should never cross a Sigma female. Buckle up, because this ride's gonna be wild. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck is a Sigma female anyway? Well, think of her as the lone wolf of the female world. She's not your typical alpha female leader or your submissive beta. Nope, she's in a league of her own. Sigmas are independent, self-reliant, and don't give two hoots about fitting into society's neat little boxes. But here's the thing, while Sigma females might seem cool, calm, and collected on the outside, crossing one can unleash a storm you never saw coming. They're like those beware of dog signs, except the dog is actually a highly intelligent, strategic, and ruthless wolf in disguise. You mess with them at your own risk, folks. Let's start with their razor-sharp intellect. Sigma females are often blessed with a keen mind that can run circles around most people. They're constantly observing, analyzing, and strategizing. When you cross a Sigma, you're not just dealing with raw emotion or knee-jerk reactions. Oh no, you're up against a mastermind who's already 10 steps ahead of you. I once knew a Sigma female named Sarah. This girl was something else. When a coworker tried to take credit for her work, Sarah didn't cause a scene or go crying to HR. Instead, she meticulously documented every single contribution she made to the project over the next few months. When promotion time came around, she presented her case so brilliantly that not only did she get the promotion, but the credit-stealing co-worker got demoted. Talk about playing the long game. But it's not just their brains you need to watch out for. Sigma females have an uncanny ability to read people like open books. They pick up on subtle cues, body language, and verbal slips that most of us miss. Cross them. And they'll use this superpower to figure out your weaknesses faster than you can say oops. I remember this one time at a party, a guy was trying to hit on a Sigma female named Emily. He thought he was being smooth, but Emily saw right through his act. She casually mentioned his wedding ring tan line and asked how his wife was doing. The poor guy turned redder than a tomato and bolted out of there so fast, you'd think his pants were on fire. Now, let's talk about their independence. Sigma females don't need anyone's approval or validation. They're perfectly content being on their own and don't rely on others for their happiness or success. This means that traditional methods of manipulation or social pressure just bounce right off them. I had a neighbor, Lisa, who was a textbook Sigma female. When the neighborhood busybody tried to pressure her into joining the Hoei committee, Lisa just smiled and said, No thanks. I'm good, no excuses, no explanations. The busybody kept pushing, thinking she could guilt Lisa into it. But Lisa? She just kept living her best life, completely unbothered by the whispers and side eyes from the other neighbors. It was like watching water roll off a duck's back. This independence also means that Sigma females have an incredible amount of emotional resilience. They don't crumble under pressure or cave to emotional blackmail. If you cross them thinking you can break them down, you're in for a rude awakening. They've built up their emotional fortress brick by brick, and your attempts to tear it down will be about as effective as trying to demolish the Great Wall of China with a plastic spoon. I once saw this in action with my friend Zoe. Her ex tried to win her back by showing up at her workplace with a grand romantic gesture. Most people would have been swayed or at least flustered. But Zoe? She calmly asked security to escort him out, then went right back to her meeting as if nothing had happened. Ice cold, folks. Ice cold. Now, let's talk about their ability to detach emotionally. When a Sigma female decides you're not worth her time or energy, she can cut you out of her life with surgical precision. There's no drama, no tearful goodbyes, no second chances. You're just gone. And trust me, once a Sigma female decides you're out, there's no coming back. I witnessed this firsthand with my cousin Rachel. She found out her best friend of 10 years had been lying to her about something major. Instead of confronting her or causing a scene, Rachel simply stopped. Stopped calling, stopped texting, stopped acknowledging her existence. It was like the friend had never existed in the first place. Brutal, but effective. But here's where it gets really interesting Sigma females have an uncanny ability to build and leverage networks. They might prefer to operate alone, but they know the value of connections. 
cross a sigma. And you might find yourself slowly but surely being edged out of social circles you didn't even know she was part of. There was this sigma woman in my old workplace, let's call her Olivia. A new manager tried to push her around, thinking she was a lone wolf with no allies. Big mistake, huge. Within months, that manager found himself struggling to get cooperation from other departments, his projects constantly hitting roadblocks. Turned out, Olivia had built solid relationships across the company over the years. She never said a word against the manager. But suddenly, nobody was eager to help him out. It was like watching a master chess player slowly but surely checkmating their opponent. Now, don't get me wrong. Sigma females aren't out there looking for trouble. They're not vindictive or cruel by nature. In fact, they'd much prefer to be left alone to pursue their own interests and goals. But cross them and you'll discover that their pursuit of justice can be relentless. I remember this story about a Sigma female named Tanya. She found out that a local business was dumping waste illegally, polluting a nearby river. Instead of just complaining on social media like most people would, Tanya spent months gathering evidence, building a case, and navigating the legal system. In the end, she not only got the business shut down, but also managed to set up a fund for cleaning up the river. All without seeking any recognition for herself. That's the thing about Sigmas, they don't do things for glory or praise. They do it because it's right. Let's talk about their ability to stay calm under pressure. When you cross a Sigma female, don't expect her to lose her cool. They have this eerie ability to remain composed in situations that would have most people falling apart. And let me tell you, there's nothing more unnerving than someone who stays perfectly calm while dismantling your entire world. I saw this in action with my coworker Diane. During a high-stakes presentation, a client started aggressively questioning her data. Most people would have gotten flustered or defensive. But Diane? She calmly walked the client through each point, addressing every concern with laser-like precision. And by the end of it, not only had she won over the client, but she'd also exposed the flaws in the competitor's proposal that the client had been favoring. It was like watching a masterclass in grace under fire. Now. Here's something that might surprise you Sigma females often have a wicked sense of humor. But it's not your run-of-the-mill, laugh-out-loud kind of humor. No, it's more like a finely honed wit that can cut deeper than any knife. Cross them, and you might find yourself on the receiving end of a verbal takedown so subtle yet devastating that you won't even realize how badly you've been burned until hours later. I remember this one time at a dinner party. This guy was being incredibly condescending to everyone especially the women. Enter Jessica, the quintessential Sigma female. She started asking him questions about his work, his hobbies, his opinions on current events. To everyone else, it sounded like she was genuinely interested. But those of us who knew her could see what she was doing. With each question, she was subtly exposing his ignorance and arrogance. By the end of the night, the guy had talked himself into a corner, looking like a complete fool and Jessica hadn't said a single unkind word. It was like watching a master sculptor chip away at a block of marble, revealing the statue hidden inside. But here's the kicker Sigma females have an incredible capacity for kindness and empathy. They just reserve it for those who truly deserve it. Cross them, and you'll never see this side of them. But earn their respect, and you'll find an ally more loyal and supportive than you could ever imagine. I saw this with my Aunt Elena. She's as Sigma as they come independent, self-reliant, doesn't suffer fools gladly. But when her neighbor lost his job and was struggling to feed his kids, Elena stepped up. She didn't make a big show of it, but she made sure that family had hot meals, that the kids had school supplies, that job applications were sent out. She moved mountains to help them, all while making it seem like it was no big deal. That's the thing about Sigma females when they decide you're worth their effort. There's nothing they won't do for you. Now, Let's talk about their ability to adapt. Sigma females are like chameleons they can blend into any situation when they need to. But don't let that fool you into thinking you've got them figured out. They're always assessing, always planning, always three steps ahead. Cross them, and you'll find that the ground you thought was solid beneath your feet has suddenly turned to quicksand. I once saw this play out with a Sigma female named Maya. She joined a new company and at first, everyone thought she was just another quiet, hard-working employee. But when a project went south and everyone was pointing fingers, Maya revealed her true colors. She presented a detailed analysis of what went wrong, who was responsible, 
and how to fix it. Turns out she'd been documenting everything from day one, just in case. The bosses were so impressed that they put her in charge of the project recovery. The colleagues who had tried to throw her under the bus? Let's just say they learned a hard lesson about underestimating the quiet ones. But here's something that's often overlooked Sigma females have an incredible capacity for growth and self-improvement. They're constantly learning, constantly evolving. Cross them once, and you might think you've got their number. But I guarantee you, the next time you encounter them, they'll have new tricks up their sleeve. I saw this with my friend Lena. She lost a big client deal to a competitor, and it hit her hard. But instead of wallowing, she took it as a learning opportunity. She spent months analyzing what went wrong, improving her skills, and refining her approach. The next time she went up against that same competitor, she didn't just win the client, she dominated the entire market segment. It was like watching a phoenix rise from the ashes, more magnificent than ever. Now, let's talk about their intuition. Sigma females have this almost supernatural ability to sense when something's off. They can smell a lie, a scheme, or a hidden agenda from a mile away. Try to pull one over on them, and you'll find they've already seen through your plan before you even put it into action. I remember this one time when a new employee joined our team. Everyone else was charmed by his friendly demeanor and impressive resume. But Maria, our resident Sigma female, wasn't buying it. She couldn't put her finger on why, but something felt off to her. Fast forward a few months, and it turned out the guy had faked his credentials and was involved in some serious corporate espionage. Maria's intuition had been spot on, and her caution potentially saved the company millions. But perhaps the most important reason you should never cross a Sigma female is this they have long memories and infinite patience. They don't need to react immediately to perceived slights or attacks. They can wait months, even years, to set things right. And when they do, it's with such subtlety and finesse that you might not even realize they've done anything at all. I heard about this Sigma female, let's call her Claire, who was passed over for a promotion she deserved. Instead of making a fuss, she quietly continued doing excellent work. Two years later, when the company was going through a major restructuring, guess who was brought in to lead the transition? Yep, Claire. And wouldn't you know it, the person who had unfairly gotten the promotion over her. They found themselves without a job in the new structure. Claire never said a word about the past slight, never gloated over her victory. She didn't need to. The long game had played out exactly as she'd planned. So what's the takeaway from all this? Well, it's simple really. Sigma females aren't looking for trouble. They're not out to get anyone. They're just living their lives on their own terms, pursuing their own goals and minding their own business. But cross them, and you'll find yourself up against an opponent, unlike any you've faced before. They're smart, they're strategic, they're patient, and they're utterly unfazed by social pressure or emotional manipulation. They can read you like a book, adapt to any situation, and they have long memories. They're capable of incredible kindness, but also of serving up karma so subtle you won't even know what hit you. In conclusion, the best way to deal with a Sigma female is with respect and authenticity. Don't try to manipulate them, don't try to pressure them, and for heaven's sake, don't try to cross them. Treat them fairly, and you might just find yourself with a powerful ally. But cross them, and well, don't say I didn't warn you. Remember, in a world that often tries to put people in boxes, Sigma females are the ones who break the mold. They're the free spirits, the independent thinkers, the ones who dance to the beat of their own drum. And while that might make them seem intimidating or unapproachable, the truth is, they're just being true to themselves. So the next time you encounter a Sigma female, take a moment to appreciate their unique perspective on life. You might just learn something. And whatever you do, remember the golden rule never, ever cross a Sigma female. Because if you do, you're not just crossing one person you're taking on a force of nature. And trust me, that's a battle you don't want to fight.